What is going on, Pokemon Pit Beta? This is Ferris Wheel 32 here. Most people just call me Ferris, though. Uh, this is the first time I've been uploading on this channel, so I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you are too. I've been uh, uploading competitive Wi Fi matches uh, since the late 1700s, and I enjoy being a professional amusement park attraction in my free time. But uh, enough about me, let's get into the battle. This was against uh, Isla Bronze, and if I'm not mistaken, I think he uploads a bit on this channel as well. But, um, yeah, anyway, I have Gliscor here. Set up my rocks, which is always, you know, helpful. Uh, he brought a Sandstorm team, which actually helps me more than it hurts me in the long run. You'll see what I mean later. I bring in my Rotom because, yo dog, I heard you like Rotoms. So I put a Rotom in your Rotom so you can Rotom while you Rotom. And he Thunderbolt or Hydro Pump me or something. I forget already. That's how bad I am in this game. Uh, I will Wisp him, which is fantastic because uh, I like residual damage. And uh, I barely live, which is fantastic because that means I'm going to get a pain split off, bring him down to around half, and he's not going to be able to do much else except kill me this turn, so that's no good. Uh, would have loved to keep Rotom, but fortunately I couldn't. So now go Skiograph. I got the name from a random word generator. Uh, Skiograph is apparently a photo you take without using visible light. So that's cool. I bring in Gengar. Uh, hopefully to kill it or scare it off. And he brings in Jirachi. And Shadow Ball almost does half to it. So I'm thinking, eh, might kill it within Power Fire. Hopefully. I'm hoping it'll kill. Please kill. And he just barely lives. And then he body slams me. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe he was predicting a switch. I hope that's what he was doing because... Um, either way, it was good for me. Speaking of predicting, I almost predicted the switch to T-Tar here. I was so close, but I didn't want to risk him staying in, me missing, and then getting iron-headed or something. That would have gone all bad for me. So I just go for the Shadow Ball, and this turn, <laughs> I decide to risk the Focus Blast as if it's any different, but fortunately I hit, fortunately it kills, and uh, that's one massive threat out of the way for me. So that's really uh, going to be helping out a lot. It brings in Terrakion. And I'm worried this thing is just going to tear a new strip in my team. Except I have Gliscor, so that's all good. Uh, Stone Edge, not even going to do half to me. I'm still in the green. And at this point, I think he's just going to switch out because he can't really touch me. So, brings back in Rotom. Uh, I Earthquake, but he has to Levitate, obviously. So, uh, that's not going to work, really. And the only R move I have to hit him with, really, is a uh, U-Turn. So, I'm just going to U-Turn out of here and after the burn and Sandstorm. It'll bring him down low enough. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get switch advantage now, but I bring in Chives, my Mew, and this thing is 100% professional. It's a double status Mew with U-Turn and Tailwind because that's how I roll, and uh, you'll get to see a bit of it later. Uh, right now, I'm just U-Turn out because I do not want to deal with a Therathorn. Bring in Lieutenant Stylin because I can take that Leech Seed, hopefully set up some Calm Minds and do some damage to him. So, that's what I'm trying to do now. Uh, go for the Calm Mind here, this turn. But he brings in the Jirachi. And I'm really afraid of him body slamming and paralyzing me. Because Magic Guard doesn't protect against the full paralysis anymore. So I knew that would screw me over big time if I let him do it. But he just Iron Heads me, so I might have been able to stay in, possibly break through the flinch. But either way, Gliscor takes like a man. And here I make a retarded move, and I U-turn out. What I should have done was just Earthquake and kill it, but I was thinking he might switch to Latios, predicting the Earthquake, so I could have U-turned out, get the switch advantage, and do super effective damage, but that doesn't happen. Now he gets a Wish Up, and the only move I have to hit him with is U-turn, but I decided to set up a Tailwind, you know, instead, which actually kind of helps me out, because he gets the Paralysis from Body Slam. I sink the Paralysis, but I'm still faster because of Tailwind. So uh, I'm rocking it here with uh, 290 HP, Still gonna outspeed him though, and U turn. Not gonna do a whole lot to him, but this way I get to switch back in Gliscor, and I'm gonna take the Iron Head, which I expected him to do. And now I'm gonna Earthquake him, and I get a crit here on the Earthquake. I really don't know if it mattered or not, it really depended on how bulky he was, but uh, I don't know if it mattered really, but either way, it helped me out, and it kinda made up for 
me being retarded earlier. And now he brings in Latios, and thanks to Tailwind, I can outspeed him and you go for the U-turn. Uh, it does a lot to him, though. Brings him, to, <coughs> excuse me, brings him down below half. And uh, he's just going to surf my Mew now. I pretty much brought it in as Death Fodder because it's paralyzed, can't really do much, and uh, Tailwind petered out there. He goes for a Draco Meter, which is fantastic because I now get a switch into Reuniclus, and I can hopefully set up some Calm Minds this time. <laughs> Uh, you know, second time's the charm, I guess. And, uh, yeah, but then he has Terrakion, and I'm afraid of x or so. Uh, once again, I'm going to set up one Calm Mind and then have to switch out the next turn. So that's great. Uh, bring in Scizor to Shizwiz, about to whoop some ass. He Swords Dances in. Uh, I go for the Bullet Punch, because uh, that Terrakion was going to just lay me out if I didn't kill it right there. And if he switched, you know, at least I got rid of the boost that he had. Now he breaks in Theraphorn, which is pretty obvious. Gonna have to switch out again to Gliscor, and the Power Whip does nothing to me, because Gliscor is just such a man. And, uh, gonna Roost here, because I need the heal, but I was like, oh wait, Roost, uh, Flying type, no more, and Power Whip, super effective, but, uh, he misses, because Sandville, plus average accuracy, uh, helps me a lot, so... Uh, Sandville Gliscor still running it, even though Poison Heals, you know, used by everyone and their mother now. Uh, I get hit by the Iron Barbs, but it's no big deal. Gonna bring in Scizor again, take that Power Whip like a boss, but <laughs> that was a crit too. I didn't even notice that the first time. So, that's pretty hilarious. Go for the Super Power, because it's easily gonna kill that thing. Uh, I don't care how good its defenses are. Scizor's just too, too manly. To, you can't even handle it. Uh, but Iron Barbs and, uh, no big deal. Breeze and Latios, which is his last guy. I'm going to have to switch out here because I stuck on super power and minus attack and all that. I'm going to fodder Pebbles here because uh, it really isn't going to help out against the Latios. And at this point, I pretty much have it in the bag. Bring in Reuniclus because I want to do something this game either than, uh, other than just Calm Mind and then switch out the next turn. So <laughs> I take the Draco Meteor like a man. Got to kill it with Psychic, and that's the game. So, uh, good game, uh, LeBrons. Uh, if you guys like this video, uh, make sure to leave it, you know, big thumbs up. Uh, if you like what you've seen here, you can check out my channel, because I do many videos like this. And that's pretty much it. Uh, my link's in the description. My opponent's link is in the description. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. And hopefully, hopefully, guys, I will get to see you again very soon. Peace.